are we live? Is this on? Hi guys, good morning from Naia Terminal 3. We're headed to Bicol. Uh, I'm excited for another batch of seminars there for our Kababayan doctors. So it, it was a relatively traffic though going here, but well, I, there's nothing you can do. However, whatever traffic is there, the best thing that you can do is try to uh, make the best out of every situation that's out there. So I hope you guys are are doing well. No, uh, it's as as you go to work, as you go to uh, your businesses. I hope that uh, it's not it's not as traffic for you as it was for uh, as it was for me. So uh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I rarely do Facebook lives this early because I'm uh, I normally wake up before the market would open, or at least if I have to bring my wife. Uh, to to where she needs to go but uh yeah it's it's an early morning i hope you guys are good i hope you guys you guys are well the market was very 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 interesting uh yesterday but before i go to the markets so i'd like to i'd like to talk about bitcoin bitcoin did something very very uh i guess radical over the past a few hours it, it moved up from 4,800 to around 5,200 5,300 US dollars per share uh, Bitcoin if you try to look at the chart I posted in the previous in the previous Facebook post it moved from uh, around 3,000 US dollars to our from uh, I think uh, second or third week of September to where we are today so this so Bitcoin has really really uh, produced a large demand from a lot of investors now so whether Bitcoin will be the currency of the future or whether it will be a flop that it will not go anywhere uh, it's worth it, it's it's where it's worth looking at how big of a demand uh, it it's actually producing because that's how markets work regardless if it's a stock market the currency market or or even now with bit with Bitcoin uh, it's really about supply and demand and the fact that Bitcoin is moving it's just really price action it's just really uh, there's a large demand from a lot of investors into it if there's value into it I really don't know what the value of Bitcoin is and what it will be in the future but uh, price discounts everything so if that breakout will continue I, I really think Bitcoin can progress further no baka mag five eight to six thousand uh, US dollars payan in the next few in the next few weeks should the breakout progress even further but as of this point everything else is just really uh, people I, I guess speculating on what it could possibly be and uh, they're, they're, they're banking on what it could be should uh, should government start to uh, I guess accept it as a currency that uh, we plan to use so uh, good morning to you Louis Abando good morning to you Malu Sibayan uh, it's it's an awesome pleasure to uh, to be part of your journey towards financial freedom so that's number one Bitcoin second is I'd like to talk about the index uh, I, I, I'll, I'll say this over and over again a stock that's bullish or a market that's bullish uh, will continue to go up until uh, something shifts until something changes and that's what we've seen eh? I've mentioned it time and time again from the breakout from 7 forward the market broke out of the of the very very strong moving average uh, I told I told people it was a, it was a bunch of months ago that if we broke out of that the market turns bullish and as of as as we broke broke out of that the market started to go higher then uh, I mentioned also that the breakout from 81 will remove us from our very our midterm sideways movement so we broke out of 81 and that's what we're seeing right now the breakout of 81 takes us away from the sideways movement the breakout from 81 is now uh, our new support now so as long as we hold fast uh, and stay above 81 everything else will be relatively bullish over the next few uh, trading cycles now what you're seeing now at 8,400 should be normal you shouldn't be uh, you shouldn't be scared about that why because the movement from 8,400 will bring us to our target price of around 8,500 for the PSEI in in general so I repeat uh, we're, we're now closing we're just around 92 points left uh, before we hit before we hit our target of 8,500 so should we break out of 81 allow me to adjust and send you the next target for the PSEI but until until we see that happen our goal you have to remember this your goal as investors your goal as traders is to follow what your trading plan is what your goal as investors is to follow what the chart is and what's amazing for me, what's amazing about this is uh, over the past few uh, months so we've been seeing more mature traders and investors and you're seeing more Filipinos really uh, reap the benefits of what's happening in the market so uh, I, I just hope that for 
those who follow this video post, you use whatever I mentioned as reference points as well. So what does this mean also for position traders since the market as a whole is relatively bullish? Uh, no sell signal yet. No sell signal for position traders, especially for quick traders. Your reference point will always be 8,500. And uh, I'll, I'll say it now, should we break out of 8,500, our next target price will be 8,800. So I repeat, if we go to 8,500, that can be a sell signal for quick traders. I repeat, if we go to 8.5, that can be a sell signal for, for quick traders. But if we go past 8.5, adjust your target to 8,800. So that will be very, 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 very interesting to watch for everyone. Uh, shout out to everyone in Taiwan. I can't read your name. It's in Chinese, but shout out to you. Sam Hiponia, good morning. Uh, Luis Delin from San Cayo. If you comment your name, please let me know from what city are you from so that at least we, we get to know who what cities, what countries are represented here as well. To everyone in Manila, I hope you guys are okay. Hindi kayo masyado na traffic. You're not uh, as, as affected, no? Uh, so there. So, uh, Bitcoin, the PSEI, then just two select stocks. For those who are joining us just now also, I posted something in, uh, in, my, Facebook, in my Facebook page just now about CNPF. That CNPF is at the support no if it fails to break if it fails, fails to hold that area 15.3 i believe uh, you can expect that the stock can still go lower as well so people are asking marvin can that happen can something bad happen to to company with good fundamentals oh no man you have to remember this that uh, markets move up and down uh make kind of fundamentals or voila if if sellers are very very strong you can expect uh, bearishness to to go on with the stock as well so that's number that's number three so cnpf uh if it fails to hold off that support level we can expect more weakness um if you backtrack cnpf for i guess for the past few days also it failed to hold out from the uh, support level i repeat it failed to hold out from the support level that's why you're seeing more downward price action but above and beyond that uh it 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 failed to hold the 200 day moving average which which is a very very strong uh support level that's worth watching for so that's it cnpf but i actually here to talk about uh ac and sm prime holdings uh SM Prime, I've, I've posted it in my blog, MarvinGermo.com, uh, has continued to, has started to break out. So a key, a key price level to watch out for for SM Prime is the uh, 35 peso level. If it stays above 35, you can expect it uh, to go to 37 and a mid-term target price uh, to around, I think, 39 or 40. So full details are in my uh, blog site, MarvinGermo.com uh, for, for all of that. Uh, Edward. Agdon, good, good morning to you. Hope you guys are doing well. Manuel Nunes uh, from Marshall Island, good morning to you as well. Uh, another thing that I'd like to note is Ayala Corporation. Uh, what, what's interesting is was what will carry the index higher, what will make the PSEI move higher is you have this heavyweight blue chip stocks doing uh, doing relatively well. If, if the blue chip stocks do well, they will carry the index. Ayala Land has been going down, but uh, as Ayala has been going down, you have SM Prime and you have Ayala Corp uh, carrying the slack for them. You have to remember th these heavyweights are the ones that will move and carry the markets uh, rel relatively higher. So for Ayala Corp, hi. Picture. Oh, sige, sige, live. Ah, ganun. Oh, live tayo, live tayo. Talaga? Hi. Okay. Subscriber po kami sa Subscriber. Ah, talaga, talaga. Oh, sige, hello muna kayo sa ano. Hi, from Singapore. From Singapore? Ah, wow. Pero, where did you attend the seminars there? Or in English? Ah, so how did you, how did we meet? Did we meet? Ah, my friend ako ni Ken. Ah, nice to meet. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Say hi to everyone. Hi, guys. So, uwi na kayo Singapore? Ah, kagagaling po namin doon. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, see a picture. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet all of you. Invest lang kayo ng invest. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy. So, uh, there. So, we have, uh, sorry for that quick in, uh, video. No? Uh, we have, we have, S we have Ayala Corp. Uh, please, na nawala tuloy ako sa Tavigo. Uh, but anyways, uh, look at Ayala Corp. Uh, it continues to go up. I, I, from the breakout that we had at 900, it's now progressing to its target price at around, uh, I think, 1,100 to 1,115. So uh, the breakout of 900 is what's producing momentum upward for the stock. I repeat, the breakout from uh, 900 is producing upward momentum for the stock. Uh, then, uh, which will bring us to our target price of 1,100 to 1,115. So uh, I hope I hope that this gives this helps you. Uh, this gives you a uh, firmer conviction. No, people are scared because when the broke out when Ayala Corp broke out of uh, 
900, when Ayala broke out of 900, people didn't want to buy it because it, they, they thought it was relatively expensive. You have to understand that a stock that's high doesn't mean it's expensive. I repeat, a stock that's high doesn't mean it's expensive. Uh, a stock also that's high, as long as it's breaking out, will give you a firm conviction that, hey, it's probably worth buying as well over the short, mid, and long term. So when it comes to stocks, but it will always boil down to uh, te to technicals and fundamentals. If the technicals and fundamentals weren't a buy signal, then there's nothing to be scared of. Uh, by the way, uh, it was nice to meet yung kababayan sa ating kanina, no? It's really just nice to see more uh, Filipinos uh, learning to trade and invest uh, the markets with ease and confidence. So, I'm about to board, no? Five minutes before I board my flight, but uh, it's just an amazing feeling to uh, see, to be part of your, uh, I guess, your uh, your journey towards financial freedom. So, I guess that's it. Uh, what, what, if you have any questions, I'll try to do stocks by request later on in in Bicol already in Naga City. So hope you guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing good. Yon. Sige. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Uh, anong, ano, uh, sakto na lang. What can you say para sa mga kababayan sa Singapore to invest uh, sa market? Tuloy-tuloy lang. May pera sa PSE. <laughs> How long have you been investing na? Two years po. Two years? Mas uh -huh. happy naman. Uh, happy naman po. Favorite stock? Uh, yung sa ano eh, mga MA, IMI, ah, ma, okay, okay. BNX. Congratulations, uh, congratulations. Have a good day. Sige po. Okay. So, ayun. Ay ayan, sige. So, that's it. Nice to meet. Uh, it's nice to meet people who watch the YouTube page, no, and the YouTube channel. Uh, no, nakita natin live. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, Edward from CDO. Good morning, Manuel from Marshall Island. Ana Guevara. Good morning, Ryan Charles Elix. Good morning, uh, Josh Wabel from Taiwan. Yeah, see you in December. I'm excited to be in Taiwan. So, for those who are from Taiwan, uh, I'm just excited to be there. It's my second time to be in Taiwan, but it's the first time that we'll do a round uh, table coaching session there. So, AG, AGI. Uh, AGI, please look at my, my website, marvingirmo.com. I posted uh, something, I posted a blog about it, uh, about the reversal of AGI over the short, mid, and long term. Uh, Janet uh, Rodriguez, good morning to you. Yoli Salamat. See you soon in Sydney. Yes, I'll be there. I'll be there. What? Are you attending the seminar? So I hope to meet you. I hope to meet you. I hope to meet you. Pinky Season. Joy. Uh, good morning. John Alri Tenan. Good morning. Uh, sir, watching from Bigada News. Oh, Jensen. Oi, good morning to everyone there in. In Jensen as well. So, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, stocks by request will happen tonight, uh, or uh, I'll try to do it either this afternoon, uh, either lunchtime from Beagle, or this afternoon. I, I, I'm not sure if we can do it tonight. If ever it will be tonight, baka late na because my talk will finish uh, late in the evening tonight. So, uh, that's it from now from Naia Terminal 3. Good morning to everyone. I hope uh, all of this helps you trade well, trade strong, and trade smart. So, God bless you and have a great day ahead.